Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're talking about SSH keys and using them to authenticate on GitHub. Uh, and in particular, how we can do this to authenticate to multiple GitHub accounts. All right, let's jump in. Um, if you've got Git installed, this is on Windows, I'm gonna do all this on Windows, uh, you should have a Git bash prompt, uh, like so. And so we're gonna use that to create our keys. Just make this a bit bigger. Uh, so by default, this puts us into the user's uh, folder and you should be able to move or well, view yeah you should be able to find a dot ssh folder in here um, that should be blank because there's nothing in there at the moment we're going to create our first key in here and to do that we're going to use ssh key gen i'm not going to give any parameters for this first one when we create our second key we'll have to but for this we can just take all the defaults um, it's going to put it into the current folder so we can accept that and it's going to create an ID RSA file. So that's fine. You can add a passphrase on here as well. That's fine for extra security. We're not going to do that today. Um, so let's have a look in there. It's created two files for us. ID RSA, which is our private key, and the public key version, which we're going to go and put onto GitHub now. So we need to grab the contents of the public one. So let's do ID RSA dot pub. Like so, and we can just grab this entire um, key here. So we'll copy that. Right, I'll come into um, into GitHub. Let me just get that right. Okay, so if we open up GitHub and you come over to your avatar um, and then click settings then you should also be able to go down to SSH keys here. And what we can do now is add a new SSH key. So we're going to do that. And we kind of want to name this um, related to the computer on you. You know, you might have, you might want to do this from your main computer, from a laptop or from another device. So you kind of want the name of that. So we'll call it uh, main PC in there. Um, and that should be be okay and we'll just paste that that key in and say add ssh key all right that's added in now when we try and connect using this key we need to tell um, ssh where to get these keys from um, so there's two ways of doing that you can add them to ssh agent or you can set up a config file um, now to use multiple keys we need the config file so that's what we're going to use here so I'm going to create, um, create a new config file in this .ssh folder and we can set it up like this so we're going to say account one so a hash in here is just a comment line and then we need to specify the host now this is what we're going to use to distinguish between the two accounts so this is going to change each time by default um, it'll be something like git at github.com so we use that for the first one the defaults fine and we need to specify because this you can use SSH to connect to various services we need to specify our host as github in this case so we need to say github.com and we need to say for this account which key we're going to be using so we need to have an identity um, file and we want to specify our current folder so we can go to the root and then into .ssh and our file is idrsa and that's good that should be set up fine for this single account now so we'll save that one off and let's try and connect now using that key so i'm going to be connecting to my mark james howard account Right, so I'll open up another command line and let's create, uh, let's create a directory, Mark James Howard. Okay, now let's try and pull in uh, a repository from that account. So we do a git clone. Now, when we're using SSH, let's go and look at the repository. We've just got a test repository here that we're going to use. Uh, and you, if you go to the code file, you can switch between uh, using HTTPS, 
which gives you that, or using SSH, which gives you this um, this identifier. So we're going to copy this one and come back. And we're going to get we're going to get clone. You notice at the start here, this is the string. I've got that string wrong because this the host uh, that we want to specify is the bit here. This is the user, and this is the host, and that needs to match what's in our config file. So let's go back into the config, and for the host, we're just going to say github.com as well. And now we should be able to clone this. Okay, so that's fine. All right, that's good. And we have a look in here. So we can move into there. And we've just got the single file in here, text. Um, and what we'll do now is let's just edit that file just to show that we can um, push this up successfully. So we're just making a change. And then we're going to uh, push that up. All right, so that's good. We are connecting with SSH there straight away, but only for one account. Um, but because we're using the config file, we're in a good position now to have two accounts. So, so let's do that. Let's create um, another key because you can't use the same key on different uh, GitHub accounts. Um, let's go to the account we're gonna we're, we're gonna try and work with now. So if I sign out of this one, um, and we'll go to. Um, a shot of code and we'll sign in there and if I went to settings again and SSH and then if I try to add our existing key so IDRSA dot pub uh, and grab that again so if I try here and say just and paste that in it will tell me key is already in use so it's checked across the whole of github um, and that ssh key has got to be unique um, per account so we can't add that we need a new key right let's create a new one so again we need to do ssh key gen now this time we need to provide a file name because we can't use that default file name it will overwrite our id underscore rsa file so we need to say uh, and this one's going to be a shot of code. So we'll do a shot of code um, underscore ID underscore RSA. And again, we won't enter a passphrase. Uh, it didn't ask us the file because we provided it. Um, but now we can see in here we got an extra two files. Um, we've got shot of code and we've also got ID RSA. Now this config file needs to be not a um, not a .txt so let me let me move to just config um, which means on our last one it, it wasn't picking it wasn't picking from there I think it was just using the the, the, the default because this is the correct file name I don't think that was using the config before um, but we'll, we'll check again now um, right we need to add this new key now to our config. So let's let's go into the config again, and we're going to say account two and the host. Now the host is what we're going to use to distinguish between them. So this needs to change. So we're going to have a shot of code. Um, actually, no, we're going to do GitHub GitHub.com dash a shot of code. And the others are going to be similar. So we'll have host name. This needs to be github.com. And the identity file. And this needs to be um, a shot of code uh, underscore ID underscore RSA. That looks good. So we'll save that off. And let's grab a shot of code 
dot public key because we need to add this into GitHub now. So we'll copy this key again. We'll go back to GitHub. This time it's going to let us add it because it's a new key. Um, what did we call the last one? It was main PC, but this one is main PC with shots of code. And we'll paste that public key in. So that looks good. Um, and then let's look now at the um, the repository we're going to play with here. So we've got a test2 repository in here. And by default, it's still using github.com. So we're going to have to change that to our host in order for it to um, pick the correct SS key, SSH key to use. Um, so I'll copy that, but we're going to have to change it slightly. And we'll come back into here. And let's go up to the top. And we'll create a directory, a shot of code. Like so. And we're going to do our git clone again now. So git clone, and that's the string we've got. But we need to change this host. We need this to match what is in our config file. So let me move this over here. We'll bring up the config. Move that over there. Um, so our host for a shot of code is this. So github.com hyphen a shot of code get up done hyphen a shot of code and by doing that we should now get it using the correct it will, it will come in here it will match the host and then it will pick our correct ssh key all right so it's let us clone it that's good will it let us uh, make a change so let's go in there and again, we've got a single file test. So let's edit that file like so. And if we look now, we've got a we've got a change in there. So we can do a git commit. Like so. And then push that up. And it should I'll let us add that in and that is working fine so what we've managed to do is have um, two SSH keys on our machine connecting to two different accounts and the the main thing that we need that enables that is this config file that we create in the .ssh folder uh, so there you go SSH keys um, What's, you know, I've done a video uh, previously on using HTTPS to have multiple accounts. So if you want to see that video, I'll put a link to it here. Which is better? I don't know. Pro yeah, I don't know. Maybe HTTPS is probably what I'm going to stick with. Um, but, that, you know, once you've played around with them both a bit, uh, they both work fairly well. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, don't forget to click subscribe for future videos. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.